Well, they is the beginning of a several part video project on a Craftsman 5 Wars Chip of Sweater. I've got to get things prepared to receive the new engine, but I'm also going to be doing a little maintenance. This is the heavy as hell flywheel. It has the uh, blade for limbs, the flails for uh, grinding up leaves and other small debris, and then on the back side, it has the knives for tipping the uh, limbs that you feed through the uh, limb chute. But if they need to be cleaned up and stuff like that, I replaced the hardware on this a while back when I first got it. But you also got to keep these properly lubricated. Take this blade off, sharpen it, and then these flails. You don't have to worry about them too much unless they break. But, like I said, you know, I've got to get this uh, machine ready for the new engine. I'm going to be putting on it. I don't know if I'm going to put a Predator or an original Briggs & Stratton engine on it. And, uh, you know, i got to make sure I get the right engine the first time. Because if I don't, well, I'm going to start that paddle. And this item... Wow, well, out of the way. Yeah. No, the guy weighs me 20 pounds. Look it out of the way. But this is the back side. This is where the engine mounts to. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight holes. And from what I can see, these holes are where the this piece mount to the actual engine. So when you go to get an engine, you got to do measurements. You got to measure the output shaft length, the output shaft diameter, and how tall it is from the base of the engine to the top of it because if it's not right you got a lot more work ahead of you depending on the engine now the original engine on this chipper is a i won't show you but i got to walk you over there with it was a 1992 briggs and stratton five horse the output shaft coming out of the back of the motor is one inch. One inch. The motor, um, look, the motor was the end that I'm looking at. The output shaft down to three quarters. I've also got to order a special piece to convert from one inch down to three quarter inch. I've taken measurements of the flywheel, well, the keyway key. The keyway key I know is quarter inch by quarter inch square. I said, you know, I got a lot of work to do. Gotta get the right engine ordered. And I've gone on jack small engines. I found the same engine on Amazon for a lot cheaper. It's an original Rick Stratton engine. But I said, I've got to get this the flywheel, the chips, the stuff, and the uh, front side of the chipless shroud cleaned up, mainly the flywheel, sharpen the blades and stuff like that. Then order the engine, get it in, take the old one off, and do measurements. Now I know if I measure correctly, the hub on the chipper flywheel, or chipper shredder flywheel, is two and five eighths of an inch deep. 
That's another measurement you have to take because you got to make sure that your flywheel is going to stick out far enough to, to where that will bolt to it. Where that shredder chipper flywheel will, you know, be in its proper spot. Especially when you feed lens through the main limb shoot. But, as I said, I'm going to get it done. It's just going to take a while, so this will probably be part one. I don't know how many parts I'm going to do on this, but I got to get the thing back up and running. Because I know the thing was made by MTD for Craftsman back in the day. But y'all have a good one. And I'll see y'all whenever I work on some of these projects. I might start on working on a chipper shredder flywheel today getting it cleaned up so y'all have a great one and see y'all later thank you